Uh, good evening. Uh, this is this is my unscheduled lightning talk. Uh, I'm a hacker. I like languages, both natural and computer languages. And this kind of topic comes up uh, every time. This is my most prolific uh, talk, not my most successful, but the one I have given in front of at least a dozen different audiences. Okay, so this is about the the input method compose for inputting arbitrary characters into X. For example, this note this is not an image, this is real text, so I can mark it, I can copy it, I can paste it, I can use it everywhere where text is accepted. And this is better than, yeah, this is a recurring, recurring topic, and this is, this is a good thing to, to know because text works everywhere, you know? Uh, usually people uh, used to help themselves with workarounds, like um, if you write HTML, you were able to use entities for, for characters which you could not type directly. Or, for example, people working with Vim have this god-awful um, uh, octal escapes mode. Um, so, let's have a look. Um, this, is, this is about uh, a personal annoyance. So, consider these characters used in, in, uh, in German writing. I, I it really it really busts my nuts if someone uh, posts uh, posts uh, uh, a German like message to a mailing list and doesn't write proper German like that like that like that way. Uh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, by, by the way, there, there's a capital sharp S, right? Um, and the the excuse is usually yeah I'm a, I'm a programmer I use the US layout but this is just just the physical layout you are you are very much allowed to uh, use a different logical layout on top of that, right? And looks like this. Uh, this is how I, how I did it in, in KDE. Um, by the way, if you look in the corner, this talk is from 2009, hence the smaller resolution and outdated software. <laughs> um, or consider these characters. Uh, uh, R with Organic for Polish. So it, it does not help you, for example, I, to, to return to one one slide uh, up again. So I've, I've added here German and Russian, but what if you want to use characters not all the time, just, I don't know, just for writing a, a place name or something like that. Uh, for example, we have uh, for, for Polish, uh, Ogonek, or for Turkish, uh, uh, G with Breve, or uh, for Dutch, uh, the ligature of I and J, or uh, this one with Horn and, um, Gravis is uh, for uh, Vietnamese, and U with Ring is for, for Czech. And then it, it doesn't pay off to install another uh, keyboard layout just for one letter, right? So uh, let's consider this. Uh, if you look at your keyboard, if you have one in front of you, <laughs> you will notice uh, that um, uh, actually each key is occupied uh, four or even more times. But usually four, uh, but but it's not printed. Uh, not the the legends are not printed completely. So so this is what what the physical appearance on the key is. But th this is what you can achieve by pressing the key in combination with uh, modifier uh, keys, right? So if you press uh, M alone, then you get the lowercase Latin M with shift. The, the uppercase Latin M with uh, Alt Graph, uh, the Greek mu and uh, with shift and alt graph, so like that, uh, the um, masculine uh, ordinal indicator, and uh, similar for the for the uh, for for uh, for the key with the eight, uh, the, the fourth, uh, the fourth. What's the, what's the, what's the word? Huh? Anyway, it's the trademark. <laughs> Uh, and this is the complete table, what you get out of the box in X. So there's, there's a lot of goodies. I really like, um, where are they? I like, I like the arrow, key, uh, arrow uh, characters, but I don't see them. Am I meant? The third set. Oh. Third set, yeah. I don't see it. Anyway. I, yeah. Ah, there they are. Okay, I, I, I regularly use them in, in, in writing, for example, for making bullet, bullet points or the other subreddit is over there or something like that. 
Um, so let's talk about uh, the input method compose. It's the best solution out, out of uh, everything, has no disadvantages. And uh, the, 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 the definition of an input method is you press several keys to get one character, right? Uh, and here are some examples. For example, uh, the dead key input method works like this. For example, you press the dead key tilde, then n, then you get n with tilde. So, um, and now you also uh, get an idea why on Windows uh, dead keys are enabled, but on Linux uh, they are disabled, because you need the, the tilde and accent keys for bash programming so that they would just get uh, in the way of, of getting shit done. Um, another input method, for example, uh, this is a complex one uh, for Chinese. This one works on the basis of uh, the phonetic, um, well, how our whole word sounds. Pinyin, right? Huh? Is it pinyin? Yes, it's pinyin. And, um, and also compose is also an input method. For example, here's the example. You press, you press this in series, indicated by the commas. Yeah? If, you would, if, you, if you are instructed to press letters together, then there would be a plus instead. For example, control plus A is control and A at the same time. This is pressed in series, so you press compose, let go, then V, then capital C, and then you will get uh, C with Caron. Because, well, anyway, about this later. And where's the compose key? Well, here in the corner. <laughs> Well, if you do not have a Sun keyboard, like most people, then you can just get rid of a different useless key and uh, have a, a logical compose key. For example, I have enabled here to, um, to disable the caps lock key and use it as a compose key instead. Uh, and, and or you can also just run this command if, if you don't want to uh, install KDE because there are some people who are allergic against, against nice configurability. Uh, and the, here are some examples pre-configured what's uh, possible out of the box. So uh, all of the uh, diacritic characters, which is nice because you need it all the time. Uh, yes, really, if you want to write place names or personal names and not, uh, uh, you know, insult people by writing their name incorrectly, do it this way. Compose key is really nice. Um, uh, so you get uh, the V for, for the Caron, uh, the accent for, 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 for uh, Akut for Akut, underline for Macron, circumflex for circumflex, comma for Cedille, plus for Horn, semicolon for Ogonic, capital U for Breve, uh, quotation mark for diaresis, degree sign for Ring, uh, well, it's the, the graphis stays the same and tilde for tilde. Okay, that was easy, but they are not just uh, diacritic characters. There are also uh, other pre-composed characters. For example, if you want to write something like plus minus or an ellipsis or a uh, really fat nice uh, bullet point um, or the, the, the Spanish inverted uh, punctuation marks uh, or some ligatures, it's all, all in there already, ready for your use. And um, if you want to have a look at the file, it's a huge one. Comes comes uh, pre-configured with X. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, let's have a look. What's what's inside? These are some typical uh, lines in, in the file. Uh, Multi-key is the internal X name for the compose key. So and then you say the uh, internal specifiers for uh, the internal names for, for 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 the keys. Then a colon, and then the string which gets produced. It can also be not just one character, but a uh, sequence of characters, which is nice. And uh, the, the rest here is, uh, um, you know, and again, just the internal name if you want to reference it later, but this is not really required. And uh, after the comment uh, sign, they, they have uh, put the uh, Unicode uh, name for the character so you can find it uh, by, by grabbing through the file. Uh, if you want to uh, make it a bit shorter, you can leave the other you know, the, the extraneous stuff away, uh, leave it out, I mean. And um, yeah, as I explained, these these kind of keywords are defined in the header file, which you might need to install uh, manually because, well, it's a development file and most people don't need it, so it's not installed by default. Uh, but this is just for looking up these names. And um, yeah, the system is also extensible, extensible uh, by the user if you want to have this uh, this node uh, character and want to type it by ourselves. We just edit this file in our home directory. 
uh, .x compose and uh, you want to assign a nice mnemonic. So it kind of looks already like a like a node and retype then uh, lowercase kept uh, lowercase letter o slash tilde for the node. And it could look something like this. So uh, first uh, include the, 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 the big original file because if you do not have the include then this replaces uh, everything at once. And then let's have a tilde and some smileys or frownies. Uh, uh, not the tilde, the node, I mean. And uh, demo time. So uh, does, does this work? Do I have the? Yeah. Do I have the tilde, I mean? No, I don't have it. Uh, but anyway, the, the other characters are all there, which I've shown. What's, what's there? Tell me something. Yeah, characters. Huh? Is shows Mo emojis. OK, uh, I think this one is, is added. Yeah, this one's there. OK, and um, well, you can write your own xcompose file, but it's uh, easier to just uh, download this one from GitHub. Uh, remember the name of this uh, uh, repository? It's called Pointless xcompose. And there's even your very tenuous um, connection to Ruby tonight. <laughs> the helper programs are written, are written in Ruby. Okay, let's return to the to the uh, to the demo. Uh, this used to be a bug, but it's really nice if you just wait long enough. Eventually, things get fixed. So this is not relevant anymore. Um, so let me give you a summary. So you get lots of stuff out of the box uh, with the default values. All the uh, or not not all, but most of the um, Shortcuts are assigned mnemonically. For example, if you want to get the Danish AE ligature, then you actually press AE and not something completely different. Um, you can you can adapt it. Uh, it's user extensible, and this is now well almost thirty years already in X. So uh, it works with any desktop environment, any window manager, because it's implemented at a, at a very low level. Okay. Thank you, SGI, who sponsored the, the, the development. <laughs> <laughs>